Hello and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Marta. Today is the 21st of April and this time I have some interesting comments from Phil Harrison regarding, well, what he's actually going to be doing with himself now that he has officially left Microsoft. And the answer to that question is, well, he's going to be starting his own games related firm by the name of Alloy Platform Industries. And it's actually tied to his old position at Microsoft in an interesting way. Now, according to Phil, it's going to be a gaming-adjacent startup, so it's not completely focused on gaming, but it's going to be linked to it. And this is what Phil had to say in a recent interview with Games Industry, quote, We're definitely in the same neighbourhood, probably on the same street, but probably not the next door house, if that makes any sense. But clearly related, you know, the things that intersect me, oh, sorry, interest me and stimulate me are how technology and entertainment and people intersect. Think of those as three circles with a Venn diagram with an intersection in the middle. And what's rather interesting is that Harrison said that he's actually been planning this new venture in full consultation and collab with Microsoft, and in particular Phil Spencer, for more than a year. Which is rather interesting. Seems like they've been planning this for quite some time. And the connection to his old position at Microsoft, well, is basically going to come in the form of some licensed technology that Alloy Platform Industries has actually got from Microsoft. And Phil said, quote, API has licensed some technology from Microsoft, which will form the basis of our initial investigations and explorations. It's unannounced technology that nobody outside of Microsoft knows about. And unfortunately, Phil didn't go into too much information, uh, although he did say that when asked what his company is actually going to be exploring, he spoke a little bit about rapidly changing technology, mobile devices, ambient computing intelligence, and low-power, low-cost hardware. So not huge amounts of information, but from the sounds of what he's been saying, it's very much going to be a company based on hardware. <coughs> of course, I could be wrong, we could be seeing games in the future, but judging from what he's saying, very much going to be based on hardware and innovation in that degree. Um, and I'm really curious to see what this technology from Microsoft is and how it's actually going to play into any Xbox One. So while Phil isn't working for Microsoft anymore, he's definitely still working with them. And it's not exactly surprising. He's obviously been in the games industry for a long time and Microsoft know that his inf his knowledge, his know-how is very valuable and Phil obviously wanted to explore, expand and do things outside of Xbox and Microsoft but of course they had some interesting technology that he wants to work with so I'm very curious to see what he actually does. Regardless of the specifics I wish him, wish him all the best of luck and I'll see you next time.